Just six months ago, this part of the factory was an abandoned wasteland. Now in its place stand 32,304 solar panels provided by one Canadian company. The panels are capable of producing up to 10,500 megawatts of energy an hour. Since 2015, there is incredible world-class Ukrainian banks, incredible engineers, very smart electrical engineers, and very good people in the town of Nikopol. The solar plant will produce energy all year round. The new technology allows for more power to be produced on less land. The first solar stations were built here in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. The capacity of the panels is changing and is growing every year. It used to be 230, now the capacity of one panel reaches over 300 kilowatts. So it allows us to set up more powerful panels on a smaller territory and increase the station's electricity generation. A special rate for renewable energy, which stands at 15 euro cents per kilowatt, is another factor attracting investors to Ukraine's growing solar energy sector. Ukraine has created the appropriate legislation. We have the green tariff tied to the euro, so it is indexed and there are no currency risks. The green tariff is fixed until 2030, so the investors understand what profit they can expect during that period. According to data from Ukraine's Energy Efficiency Agency, over 400 million euros has been invested in the country's solar energy sector over the past three years. For now, solar energy makes up just 6% of Ukraine's total energy market. By 2020, Ukraine is projected to increase that to 11%. In 2015, over 30 megawatts were put into operation. In 2016, 127 megawatts. In 2017, 257 megawatts. We have good prospects for the next years because investors believe in Ukraine. They aren't afraid anymore. Apart from Baltic countries, Ukraine is the most dynamic among all post-Soviet states and the most interesting country for investors. Of course, not all economic sectors are equally attractive. I think we need to make it clear who wants what in order to see the mutual benefits for Nikopol and for Canadian investors. According to the ambassador, Canadian investors are looking into the possibility of building solar electricity stations in other regions of Ukraine.